like me and you love being outside in nature or you love being in your garden and you'd like to be able to capture the exuberance of, of mother nature, the excitement of being outside, but you don't want to do that in a traditional way. You don't want to paint botanical art that's really photorealistic with a brush that's only got one hair on it. And you don't want to use more traditional still life approach either. So there's got to be a, a new way. And if you come into my studio, I'd like to introduce you to a really contemporary way of capturing the essence and the, the character of botanicals and florals. And if I look a bit distracted, it's because my cat meowing around my feet as I'm trying to do this. So let's have a look at this approach and this is quite a large painting so I'm going to have to move it around so you can see it. Here I've actually done it as a, as a circle, it's called a tondo and I've tried to really capture say the exuberance and the layers of nature that you see out in, out in green space and also capture the feeling and the emotion of the place. Let me show you another example. In this piece, I've got flowers and foliage. Again, I'm using the Tondo and I just find this circle painting rather fun. Of course, you can use this technique on squares and rectangles. So if that's not your thing, don't dismiss it out of hand at all. It's just a shape. We move it around. I've used metallic watercolours too, just to give an extra layer and sparkle against the, the flowers and the leaves. I really love that. And again, in this piece, I've just added a little bronze. I'll move it around so you can sort of see that sparkle. In this case, it's at, at the forefront rather than in the background. What we're going to do in this course is actually paint this piece so it's a little bit smaller than the ones I've shown you to start with. And that's simply for manageability. As soon as you get the hang of it, you can do whatever size you want. You're only limited by uh, the size of your paper. And the technique relies on building up layers and we use masking fluid to build up layers against a really nice complex dark, concentrating on shapes and patterns and colours. The detail really isn't very important. You know, is that, what flower is that? Does it actually matter? It's all about the feeling of it. You know, this was taken from a vine that grows up my shed. But actually, what's far more important is the shapes and the patterns and the zigzag as it goes through the piece. So in this course, I'm going to introduce you to the idea of looking at pattern and shape rather than detail. We're going to learn about using masking fluids, do's and don'ts. And I'm going to introduce you to various design ideas, how we can pull all these patterns together to make really interesting paintings. So what we learn here can be applied to lots of your other work. We'll work wet in wet, we'll work wet on dry, we'll learn about adding just a few final details to make the elements that we want stand out. We're going to be working in a harmonious colour palette but at the end I'm going to give you some suggestions of how you can start to introduce more complementary colours. We're going to be working in pure watercolour but again I'll give you some ideas of how you could move this forward into mixed media. We will not all come out at the end with the same painting. That's not my aim for you. What I want you to do is to learn the techniques so that you can develop your own voice and interpret your own plants and foliage and capture their character. This course is all about skills. It's not about painting an identical painting to me. It's about understanding the process, building your skills, understanding the techniques and knowing how to put them together, but also what to do if things go wrong and how to rescue things. So we will work on a design, but I will really encourage you to use your own colours, your own shapes, your own patterns, and to build up a real library of plants and a real tool set of skills. So my course is filmed in my studio by me. It's not a Hollywood production but I promise you you'll be able to see what I'm doing and you'll be able to hear what I'm saying. There might be a few ones and ahs along the way but that's just 
reality and I try and make it as close to you sitting next to me in my studio as I can. At the end you'll have skills and techniques and experience and confidence to be able to apply them to your own subjects and make really unique art.